traders, we are looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame. My bias is bullish, definitely. Now, there's a few things about this chart, guys. I think what I want to mention first up is we're heading into the halving, right? And that's going to happen around where mid-April. So let's just grab mid-April, Monday the 15th, that'll do. Mid-April, somewhere around there, right? Bitcoin halving. And we've reached into 74, 75, 73, something like that. There it is, 73.7. Okay, it's slightly under 74, the 74,000 big figure. I really think that this is going to continue with all the hype and whatnot. I think this is going to continue bullish. I'm going to mark up this 80,000 big figure. Let's just do that. That's my target. 80. All right. Over the next couple of weeks. What is it now? The 28th of March. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a good couple of weeks and a bit, whatever, to, to, the, to the Bitcoin halving event somewhere around mid-April. It's, it's, it's trending up and I really think this is pricing in. I really do. And I'm thinking that something like this. All right. We hit the halving and then we tank. It's pricing in and then we, we do that. So with that in mind, and I think the 80,000 big figure, um, smart money or you know bigger players, they're going to look to definitely, if this rallies up into this level, it's a psychological level. And uh, that's where I'll be taking profits, that's for sure. So with that in mind, I'm looking for a buy opportunity here. But not at this level. Look look at this price action. We've got, say, swing low, swing high. All right, well, let's pull back into about 50%, okay? Let's just go down to a four-hour chart. I want to show you this. Get a bit closer to it. Righto. Have a look at these retraces here. So, okay, it's trading down, we get a retrace. Trades down, it retraces, it retraces. So we've got this measured move. We can apply it here as well. Give or take, you know, a few pips here and there. So if we apply this to this swing high, uh, this retrace then potentially brings us down into this bullish this this uh, value area here, okay, where um, the market accumulated, right? Accumulations range down in here. So that's a possibility. Now, have a look also at this price action. Break below retest now with a little pin bar here. Okay? I would be inclined to actually short this. Sell. Counter trend because I'm bullish. I'd go in at market, stop above there, something like that. There's a potential 2R, right, result. So that's fine. Now, here's the thing with this. Let's just mark up, say, this bullish accumulation, this range in here, and pull a Fibonacci from say swing low to swing high I'm looking at this price swing pull back into 50% 50% of this price swing this is discounted under here this is a premium up here I don't want to be buying at a premium I want to be buying at a discount so there's my short counter trend and I think I'll be looking for a buy opportunity then See the 61.8 fib? Let's just let's just do that. Go for broke. Stop, where do you want to go with that? Well, at least under the 78.6 fib. You know, I mean, pff, how wide do you want to go with your stop loss, right? That'll do it. It's a four hour chart. We'll just take it down into these levels here. And my target is gonna be, I'm looking for that 80 now. Have a look at this, these levels that I've got marked up here, 50, 100. See how it coincides with 
Well, all-time highs, we go back into here. That's a target. Why? Because there's sell stops resting, buy stops resting up in here. All right, there's a target. This is my bullish scenario now. The first target's going to be these highs. So we're just looking to attack, well, to to um, uh, target where, where, where there's going to be sell stops, uh, buy stops resting, okay, above these swing high, above this swing high. So target one, target two, and this price swing, what is it called? It's an ABCD measured move or something like that. So A, B, C, D measured move. That's what I've done with this. So the 50% discount measured up, we get the zero. So there's target one and target two in here. If you want to take partials, you know, there's, there's your targets. And then this is target three, this 50%, depending on what you want to do with that. But, you know, I would expect price to, to actually... Um, you know, it's going to, it's trending, right? So let's just have a look, trend. Okay, so that's what it does. So it goes for these targets. There's support resistance, right? Breaks through. So we get something like that. And, you know, Bob's your uncle, okay? But seriously, guys, heading into this event here, I mean, that, that could uh, stretch out over this period in time. But I'm, honestly, I really think that it tanks after the, the halving. Remain to be seen, okay? So uh, keep that in mind and, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so look, that's my take on Bitcoin. A couple of trade ideas there. Don't go crazy with your position size, guys. Just, you know, watch out for the risk. Manage it well. I'd love to hear your comments in the, in the thing below. So, yeah, leave a comment. Uh, you know, your thoughts. Um, share the love. Other ideas, always welcome. And what else can I say? Uh, click the link tree link below. Check out my uh, What's on Offer, this uh, free Telegram group. I think that's definitely worthwhile. So I'd love to see you in there. Guys, with that, I hope you have a great day. Safe trading. See you in the next one.